Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet the Suzette stitch. This stitch is super fun and easy to make and it's reversible. It's perfect for blanket, this cloth, cluster, basket and bag and many more. All right. And if you would like the written instruction and photo tutorials, it's available on our blog at knitcrawaddict.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. For today's tutorial, I use this 100% uh, cotton. I believe it is Rico cotton from Lovecraft. I bought it long time ago. And I use 4mm crochet hook. And you can use any yarn and any hook you prefer just to practice this stitch. Alright, let's get started. The Suzette stitch is in a multiple of two chains. You can make the chain as long as you like. But just make sure that you have an even number of chains or a multiple of two chains. All right. For today's tutorial, I'm going to make 26 chains. First, I'm going to make slip knot. And then I'm going to make 26 chains. One, two, three, four, five. 23, 24, 25, and 26. I have 26 chain here. Row 1, we're gonna skip the first chain. And then into the next chain, we're gonna make one single crochet and one double crochet all into that chain. I skip the first one, insert the hook into the next, but I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. And then yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook that is a single crochet and then we're gonna make a double crochet so yarn over hook insert the hook into the same chain yarn over pull up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops that is a double crochet and next we're gonna skip the next chain and then into the next chain we're gonna make one single crochet and one double crochet Skip the next, insert the hook into the next, and make a single crochet. And then make a double crochet into the same chain. And we can now repeat this until we have two chain left. I skip the next chain, into the next chain, I make a single crochet and double crochet. Here's a single crochet. And now I'm going to make a double crochet into the same chain. i show you a couple more times. So I skip the next chain. And then into the next chain, I make a single crochet and double crochet. All into the same chain. Here is a single crochet. And now I'm going to make a double crochet into the same chain. And repeat. Skip the next chain, into the next chain, make a single crochet and double crochet. Alright, here's what it looks like so far. You're gonna keep repeating this, you're gonna skip the next chain, and then into the next chain, you're gonna make a single crochet and double crochet all into that chain. All right, keep repeating that until you have two chain left. Okay, now I have two chain left. Next, I'm gonna skip the next chain and then into the next chain, which is the last chain, I'm gonna make one single crochet. Like that. Alright, here's what it looks like at the end of row 1. And for row 2, we chain 1 and turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And the chain 1 doesn't count at a stitch. And we're gonna make one single crochet and one double crochet all into the first stitch. Right here. So I make a single crochet. And then I'm going to make a double crochet into the same stitch. And then skip the next stitch. 
and into the next stitch I'm gonna make one single crochet and one double crochet all into that stitch so skip the next insert the hook into the next and make a single crochet and then make a double crochet into the same stitch and we're gonna repeat this until we have two stitches left so I skip the next stitch insert the hook into the next stitch and make a single crochet and then make a double crochet into the same stitch and repeat skip the next stitch insert the hook into the next stitch and make a single crochet and then make a double crochet into the same stitch all right keep repeating this until you have two stitches left and i will be back Okay, now I have two stitches left. I'm gonna skip the next stitch and I'm gonna make a single crochet into the last stitch. So I skip this one, insert the hook into the next, which is the last stitch, and make a single crochet. And here's what it looks like at the end of row two. For Suzette's stitch, it's one row repeat. So from now on, you're just gonna keep repeating row two over and over and it should look something like this look the same on both sides so yeah just one row repeat very easy and I'm gonna show you a little bit on row 3 so we're gonna repeat row 2 we chain 1 and turn and into the first stitch we're gonna make a single crochet and double crochet all into the first stitch And then skip the next stitch, insert the hook into the next stitch and make a single crochet. And then make a double crochet into the same stitch. And repeat, skip the next stitch, insert the hook into the next stitch and make a single crochet. And then make a double crochet into the same stitch. And repeat, skip the next stitch, insert the hook into the next stitch and make a single crochet and make a double crochet into the same stitch very easy all right you're just gonna keep repeating row two over and over and i would love to know what you're gonna make out of this stitch please comment below for me i have a lot of ideas <laughs> all right i hope you enjoy watching this video i hope you learned something new here thank you so much for watching i will see you next video bye bye